Today, we have a reading from Joshua 24. It is actually two sections, starting at verse 1. And then Joshua assembled all the tribes of Israel at Shechem. He summoned the elders, leaders, judges, and officials of Israel, and they presented themselves before God. Joshua said to all the people, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. Long ago your ancestors, including Terah, the father of Abraham and Nahor, lived beyond the Euphrates River and worshipped other gods. But I took your father Abraham from the land beyond the Euphrates and led him through Canaan and gave him many descendants. I gave him Isaac, and to Isaac I gave Jacob and Esau. I assigned the hill country of Seir to Esau. But Jacob and his family went down to Egypt. I brought you to the land of the Amorites, who lived east of the Jordan. They fought against you, but I gave them into your hands. I destroyed them before you, and you took possession of their land. When Balak, son of Zippor, the king of Moab, prepared to fight against Israel, he sent for Balaam, son of Beor, to put a curse on you. But I would not listen to Balaam. So he blessed you again and again, and I delivered you out of his hand. Then you crossed the Jordan and came to Jericho. The citizens of Jericho fought against you, as did also the Amorites, Perizzites, Canaanites, Hittites, Girgashites, Hivites, and Jebusites. But I gave them into your hand. I sent the hornet ahead of you, which drove them out before you, also the two Amorite kings. You do not di you did not do it with your own sword and bow. So I gave you a land on which you did not toil, and cities which you did not build, and you live in them and eat from their vineyards and olives groves, which you did not plant. Now, fear the Lord. Serve him with all faithfulness. Throw away the gods of your ancestors, that your ancestors worship beyond the Euphrates and in Egypt, and serve the Lord. But if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourself this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your ancestors serve beyond the Euphrates or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. You'll notice that there's a review here by Joshua about where we've been, who we've been, what we've been. And now they hear the call. They've heard this call before. I would commend to you Deuteronomy chapter 30 where God put the call before them about who will you be? What will you choose? Here again, what will you choose? Will you choose to serve me and be with me and be my people or will you choose otherwise? The choice hasn't changed. The choice is still the same. The choice is always there. And people make choices every day when they put their feet in the floor and get out of bed. There are those who will choose to follow power. They will work their very hardest to be in the corridors of governments influencing legal decisions and legislation. There are those who will choose money and chase after great riches and wealth and be associated with people who have money and earn money and make more money on the money they already have. There are those who will choose just to get up out of bed and go to work today and to come home tonight and to sit down and watch a little TV and do a little reading and go to bed and get up tomorrow 
and choose to go off to work and repeat the same cycle all over again. There are those who will choose to be adventurers and go gallivanting all over the world. There are those who will choose to be servants of God. The choice is always ours, says the Lord. I let you pick. Each and every day you get out of bed, you choose. You choose to be with me, you choose to be with Jesus, you choose to be with the Holy Spirit or not. You choose to do it with me and my help, or you choose to do it by yourself, alone, and on your own. Now, in our society, some people have been in situations where they do it alone and by themselves, and that choice is made because they've been hurt, they've been wounded, they've been crossed. I knew a man who had worked for this one organization for 25 years. And then the company was sold to another bigger company and he became redundant. He could have chosen to carry on, but he quit. And the reason he quit was because he wasn't going to be getting the pay scale of someone with half his experience and a quarter his age. He was not honored for the time he'd put in with the company. And so he outright quit. He said, no, it didn't look like that. I took the golden handshake. I took the settlement they offered. I took what they called early retirement, but he said, I chose to quit because they wouldn't honor. And he was hurt and he was wounded. And as far as I know, he's still hurt and wounded by that. We all make choices. We can choose today to be kind, to be loving, to be caring, to work for the kingdom. We can choose to be mean and nasty and spiteful and grasping. We can choose. There are things that are under control that we can also choose. We can carry that guilt, we can carry that burden of worry around with us all day long. And it doesn't help, but we carry it anyway because we know we screwed up. We know we messed up. We know that things are not going to go the way we want them to. We know, we know, we know. It's all about us. It's not about God. We have not taken all of that to the Lord. And what we need to do is we need to put some of that baggage down. But more importantly, we need to choose not to pick some of that baggage up. Rather that we would choose to ask the question about what's driving this? What's underneath this? What's behind this? What else is going on here? And when we do that, then we have chosen to work on the situation to hopefully make it better. Now, today you're going to make choices and you made a choice because you're listening to me. And that's great. Ponder your day. Think about what you have chosen to do. Because the question that Joshua puts in front of the people of God is still there. Are you serving the Lord or not? But as for me and my house, says Joshua, we will serve the Lord. It always goes better when we start and end with God. Because that way we're in the right spot to begin and we can give thanks at the end. But wasn't that just an interesting day? And I say interesting because when you do that, 
God can take you places you never even thought of, to people you've never even heard of, to do things you'd never dreamed of. All we have to do is choose. Let's pray. Oh Lord, help us to rest in your choices. Help us to choose to serve you. Not other gods that call us from this world. Not other people who would run our lives and our souls. Help us to choose to allow you and Jesus and the Holy Spirit in so that we can do what is important and necessary, but also what is needful and right for us. Help us, Lord, in that, to make the right choices. We pray, Lord, for much grace and love and mercy for the people who cause us hurt and slight and pain. They may not know they're doing it, Lord. Help us to have the wisdom to know how to forgive them too. Also, Lord, help us to help others know who you are. And now, Lord, we also pray for all those who serve in any kind of institutions of education. We remember, Lord, that now in this time of hiatus those people who are teachers who instruct others who take wisdom and knowledge and pour it out who take all the care and concern and guff that comes from parents and deal with it who take difficult situations like schools in, schools out COVID's on, COVID's not and work with it. Be with all who are in any teaching position, Lord. Whether it's even preschool or whether it's all up into university PhD courses. Be with them, Lord. We ask, Lord, also a very special blessing upon all our summer travels that we would go and return renewed and refreshed, but that we would do so safely in you. And so, Lord, we close these brief prayers with the prayer that you told us to say daily. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now receive the blessing of the Lord. May the Lord who is great and mighty bless you this day. May Jesus who is our salvation, our Redeemer and Restorer, bless you this day. May the Holy Spirit help you to make really good choices this day. And we ask this in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.